Today's tutorial is going to cover a, a notepad or a similar application. Um, I've created a Windows Forms application. I've changed the text property to text editor because I need to move kind of fast due to YouTube limits and uh, the time it takes to render these videos in HD. Okay. I'm first going to add a menu strip. You should know how to add controls. Uh, this tutorial assumes basic programming knowledge. Not absolute beginner, but beginner. Uh, let's, I'm going to change my render mode to system. That's personal preference. And insert standard items. I usually insert standa standard items because I find it easier to build off a template than I do to build my own. Um, of course, we need a text box. I'm going to select a rich text box. Add it there. I'm going to go ahead and drag this down so we have more viewing area. And I'm going to make my form bigger as well. And I'm going to resize the rich text box to the extent of the form borders. Uh, let's run the application. This is our user interface. Um, go ahead and open Notepad, and you'll find there. You know, we're pretty much spot on. Granted, our icons and some of our menu items are a bit different, but that is okay. Okay. Okay, I paused the video and took care of a lot of the code for now to save time, so instead of typing it out, you can just uh, look at it. So let's go to View Code. Well, I'll do it from here. File new is textpad.clear. Uh, that's it. It clears the text. Open. Uh, we're going to get to open. Uh, let's look at exit. Where is exit? Right here, close, which it just closes the form. Um, the save. That's where we did some little more advanced code to save the file. I created a new save file dialog and called it SFD save file, which is save file dialog suffi er, yes, prefix. Okay. Um, I set the properties here, select a file to save, set the file name to nothing, and uh, last, never mind, we didn't do a tutorial about this, but I'm using rich text files instead of just plain text files. I'll show you why. Um, and here we execute. If the user clicks OK in when we show the dialog, then use the save file method to save it to whatever they chose and use the rich text format. OK. Um, now I wanted to show you how you can do the open file code. Basically, you can take the save file code copy come back here to the open uh, event and basically we can change everything from save to open and we already have it so create an open file dialog uh, open file dialog Open file dialog. We'll rename this OFD open file. Okay. Now we will need to take this name and copy it here. Anywhere you see an error relating to the name. Here, here, and here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change my code. Okay. Select a file to, we'll change this to load. Um, keep the filter at rich text files. Uh, if the user clicks OK at the open file dialog, instead of saving the file, we'll want to open the file. 
So let's use open file um, and keep that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my mind went blank. Load file method. Okay. So let's go ahead and test all these features. Um, let's type something random. Cleared it. Um, let's type exit. It closes it. Let's type something random again. Uh, let's go ahead and save it as blah. Save. Alright, let's clear it again and let's see if our open command works. Blah. That also works.